And I'm back. Thank you guys very much for waiting. Let me just maximize the game. And we're going to, we are continuing the Fallout 4. And like I said, the few things that I'm going to change is the legendary on one of my weapons. And also I'm going to make a different weapon for Mara because I wanted to. So let's get to it. Yeah, I said crippling instead of kneecapper. Uh, that is my mistake. And we're gonna fix that. Junkie kneecapper. There we go. Nice and easy. Um, okay, so... Okay. PBR. Now let me also scrap the other weapons. Those resources that I'm scrapping over here, those are going for the Somersville place. Um, I should sell this too. I'm gonna sell this at Mars place. And now let's me modify the gun. Oh, it already has a powerful automatic receiver. That's good. Um, do I want Mara to have a legendary slot? Nah, because she's gonna steal, like, all the kills from me, and that's not gonna happen. Uh, F1. I actually need to pick a different stock. Uh, yeah, I want you to have a laser sight, because why not? But only a static laser light, so we're gonna disable the dot, so it doesn't just blast me in my face. So that's mini red dot, that can actually stay because it's, it, it looks very nice. Muzzle, no muzzle. Uh, muzzle, no. Mag magazine, large quick ejection. It's a rail. Record compensating F1. Different material. Uh, Tanning actually looks very, very not nice. I'm gonna go with its traditional black. And we're gonna increase the damage. Uh, the tea has been freshly brewed. I'm not gonna drink it right now. I'm gonna drink water instead. That takes care of that. Um, I don't want Mara to jump into the power armor because she got all the fusion cores. Yeah, first let me do the redemption for um, for the drink. Cheers. <sighs> Moist. Hey, just. Yeah, let me trade with you for a second. Get that away from you and use that for Moss. Let's use those 556. Five, there we go. We can still keep those grenades with you though. Uh, I'm gonna leave them at different location altogether. And also the switching course as well. Say the word. But I also need to leave leave this AK, and I think yeah, I'm gonna leave it over here. Over here. Oh, sorry about that. I got a little burpee over there. Mm-hmm. Um, I also had some armor parts that I wanted to scrap. Do you now? Well, as long as Mara is not noticing anything, so I guess I guess we are good. But let me save just in case. We are Borg. Um. Okay, I'm just want to remove that fortifying effect because that's way too good. Oh, I'm also gonna scrap this thing for the raw resources.
Yeah, this is what hoarding all this all the materials just does to the game. The game cannot comprehend that I'm having over 1,000 of every material. And so it slows down. And slows down very, very badly. Yeah, okay, I'm good. Um, matter of fact, I'm first gonna go to sleep, probably. Yeah, it's already 8 p.m. I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna go to sleep. And then I'm gonna jump into power armor and continue on the adventure. Because right now my goal is to reach Somersville Place. Where we gon when I'm gonna drop off uh, definitely all the resources. We're definitely gonna drop uh, some of the ammunition that we don't need. Mara's over here. Oh, she was just uh, by the wall. That's fine. That's okay. Let's move on. Was it only a death call over there? Who or what's where my turret's firing at then? I mean, there was definitely someone behind the wall. I don't. Okay, I don't get it, dude. Whatever. Just pick up the the machine gun and let's just go. I also just realized something. I should probably repair uh, my power armor. Oh, there we go. Nice. Nice. The fear is legendary. That's definitely gonna stay. I'm also gonna buy more of the. Uh, I think, yeah. It's not a bad idea to buy more of the grenades for my grenade launcher. Are you a would be adventurer? Even it's if you don't got my them. guide, chances are you won't be. I've got a few minutes to browse. Take a look. Take a look. 40 by 53. I assume that she has them. Yeah, she has them. She has way too many of them, in a matter of fact. Uh, yeah, I want to buy 100 of them. I you really need to increase the value on those grenades. Like, it's ridiculous. Yeah, 290 should be good. At least I hope. Oh boy. Who is this guy? That's what you want. Oh, sorry. Oh, that, that was an um, unfortunate case of friendly fire. You guys did not saw it. I didn't do anything wrong. He jumped in front of my rifle while I was firing. Yep. 100% instant streamer. After someone's real place is gonna not, not gonna be that difficult. I think the only thing that is going to be difficult is 
the super mutants at at the scrapyard. Anything, everything else is kind of become the okay-ish. Consider I have that grenade launcher with the legendary effect. I'm slightly afraid of the red spiders at the park, if assuming they're gonna attack me. There's gonna be also a death cloud at, at the park, so the RNG might actually play against me. If it's gonna be a death wing, then it's gonna definitely play it. Bad kitty! Damn, Mara! You're actually performing better with this gun than with anything else. So that's a no. The, the Wallace is bars a little bit further. What the hell? It's an angry poggers. Sending SOS. Yeah, but he definitely sends an SOS. Um, let me take that. Bone scraps, material, nothing else. You are not down. Okay. Okay, my first vision core has less than 25% of power. I think that's gonna be enough to get to the summons of a place, though. Hopefully. Oh, damn. Well, rip Wallace. The only thing left after Wallace is just his bar. You got a badass over here. You had a badass. Now it's a dead ass. Ah, <laughs> uh, funny jokes. Oh, uh, there's definitely something happening over there. Oh shit! Please have a broken leg. Gun. Uh, what is going on? I is confused. Are you attacking? Well, that robots have just straight up decided to attack me, so... I know, comedy. I'm, I'm so hilarious. Only I'm not. At least not, not, not at this point, not at this moment. Huh, cryo cells, those are pretty rare. Mr. Deathclaw? Wait, what? Are you dead? No, you're not dead, but uh, you definitely ain't moving. Mara being Mara. Yeah, sleepy head. Heavy mist anticipated. That's actually what I thought. Yeah, we definitely got a super million with a grenade launcher. I don't know if it would be the same grenade launcher that I'm using. Oh boy. I was not. Oh shit. 
I was actually looting that, asshole. Thanks, Mr. Supermulant, for not allowing me to loot the meat that I could possibly use. And that just seems like cheating. Well, they are using it too. So I would say I am more than allowed to use my own too. Well, unless we are talking about that uh, death claw encounter, then yeah. I would say that yes, that was a itty bitty abuse of power. No, no, this, not the synths. Not right now. Yeah, we got synths. There's an invisible synth somewhere. I don't really see the fucker. Oh my god. Mara because she jumped into the fight unnecessarily. Cheating. Oh my god, finally, even Gilly have noticed that he's cheating. He's so bad. Now all you people are calling him now and cheating. Now it's only one step forward to a cancellation. <laughs> we'll take that. Nice. Let me take that. Oh, already carrying way not already carrying too much to be able to run. Interesting. Hey Kelly. Yeah, that's how an invisible sin is looking like. Now I got Gilly on my side. Everything is now possible. Give to G. Uh, what can I give to Mara? Yeah, Timmy is a meanie, and he always plots against me. Always. I think I'm gonna take every single drug that's responsible for care weight. We might have no other choice. Is that a freaking hat? Yeah, that that's a trick. That's a trick man Bowler on a super mutant. I'm just gonna yoink because I know exactly who's gonna wear it. Mm-hmm. Alright, it's time to take every single thing that's responsible for no. carry weight right now because it seems like I have no other choice. No, 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 no. <laughs> Timmy needs to shut the fuck up. That's what Timmy needs to do. No. <laughs> oh no, addiction. Let me guess, uh, buff that. Double addiction. Hell yeah. No, no. Um, am I addicted? Nope. We good. Yeah, I'll need the bottle caps. That's all I need from here.
I know, right? The best kind of addictions. Duct tape some raging. Nice. M16 that doesn't give me anything good. I'm gonna take the plasma grenade though. Also clean up this entire this entire place at the same time. It's pretty great. I've set another New Vegas playthrough. Nice. Which faction you went for this time? Or did you kill everybody? I wouldn't be surprised if you kill everybody. As far as I know, I'm happy that you actually enjoyed it. NCR this time? Fair. NCR is always a faction that is kind of the soldiers want the soldiers want well they really do the civilians want to live well but their government oh my goodness I think I hate the government of um, of NCR the most it's like it's a type of government that's gonna be taken over by the civilian population or it's gonna be it's gonna die, and it's gonna reform itself in a different way. Or it's gonna basically a repeat, repeated, repeatable cycle of... Um, constantly getting a corrupted government 24-7. They get some... <laughs> they get some bitches, yeah. That mod is actually hilarious, I love it. Maybe if not for the yes helmet, you will get some. You will like, get some pictures of it. Um, hello there. Pick up that. I think this camera is actually producing a vapor of some sort. Uh, that's a that's a that's a big queen. It's either a Casador or it's something worse. But I definitely have noticed something flying in that direction. Excuse me. Looks oh, like good job, Mar. Uh, nuke elixir, don't need that. Quantum is okay. Regular nuka and nuka void, thank you. Please be nothing. You have become nothing. Figure you won't just run. Uh, who said I'm gonna run? I just stepped in into your place and I just destroyed you. Who says, who says running? Why would I run? Why would I run when I can just wipe your ass? Wipe, wipe the floor with your ass. That, yeah, yep, mm-hmm, okay. That, mm-hmm, yep. Good job, Lander. That, that, uh, mm hmm. GG. <laughs> oh boy. What do we got? Six missiles? Wow. I'm so willing to pick that up. Wanna use J Sawyer mod? I never used it. First, I need to beat the freaking New Vegas on the stream for once in my goddamn life. <laughs> okay, Deathclaw, I don't need this armor, I'm gonna take this, plasma mine, thank you. Okay, we're good. And now I'm gonna clean up this entire area. Because that's what the voices in my head are telling me to do. 
and I need to obey them. Um... Come to think about that... Um, I'm actually gonna cast a vault for my next game after... Um, after the Fall 3. Because due to some very cute circumstances, very adorable circumstances, very beautiful circumstances, I have managed to obtain um, Elden Ring. And I'm actually thinking about either doing Fallout 4 or doing the entire uh, the Dark Souls tri uh, Dark Souls uh, marathon, which would be Dark Souls 1, 3, and Elden Ring, pretty much. Hey, Hyper. So I think. Uh, so I think that when I'm gonna do the Fallout 3 playthrough, I'm just gonna cast the vault. That's gonna last for like a week or something, so everybody has a chance um, of making a choice, and then I'm just going to do that. But I, what, what, what is Dark Souls 2? I never heard about that game. Uh, okay, I got some kind of status. Parasites. I need to take in the parasitics. What is Dark Souls 2? I mean, I noticed this one thing about the um, about the From Software that they have released Dark Souls One and Three, but they didn't release Dark Souls Two. Hey, have, you, have you guys have you guys figured that one out? It's just so weird. I'm happy for the Nakanos. The family. Again. So weird. And that's what matters. Anyways, some detail. That's the grind. Notice that weird circumstance? Are we not getting Myler Kings over here? We should have. Okay, I'm actually gonna save the game here because jumping in power armor to that boat is not really the best thing on the planet Earth. And just like that, I'm gonna load this load this game because uh, I'm, I'm not gonna go through this entire radiation bullshit. I'm just I'm just not gonna do that. It's an anti-valve move. Yeah, <laughs> that's it's pretty much is. I'm genuinely not gonna deal with like going out of water bullshit. I'm just gonna load the save. Oh my god, he's kidding again. Aha! There we go. It is on Steam. Why would it never be on? Why would it not be on Steam? It always was on Steam. Money. Nice. Legendary effect. Nice. It always was on Steam. I even accidentally have bought two Dark Souls two. Yep. I I was that I was that stupid. It... No, 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 it's a serious talk. I actually made that mistake once. <laughs> and I have bought two Dark Souls 2. I mean, it was not that big of a deal because they're both, they were both on the discount. But I derped. Uh, quite severely. <laughs> oh, great. Okay, now I can actually... Go for a little bit of rats. I don't mind that. Fish. Oh, you sons of bitches. That's what swimming in water is gonna give you. How can one buy that? Uh, it's me we are talking about, okay? 
and I want to refund just the Dark Souls 2 because I have bought the version of all the DLCs. But by the time I have realized I want to refund the Dark Souls 2, it was already too late. So I kind of screwed myself over by like five dollars, which at that point I just simply, you know, knocked my I knocked myself on the hand. I was like, "Yep, lesson learned," and that's all I could do. But it's also the fact that it's me we are talking about. You cannot ever underestimate when Lander gets the stupids. When I get the stupids, shit just hits the fan. And it smears all over the place. Nice. And it's not a very pleasant view, but everybody has to see it anyway. Um, two M16s? None of them are attractive to me. Yeah, I mean, it's a mistake. It was a genuine mistake. It was a genuine mistake on my part. I misread something and I bought... And I just bought it and that was it. Wait, what the... Oh, okay. Just the murky lurk. Like I said, in my case, it was a very genuine mistake. It happens, it's whatever. Especially right now when it's like one year have already passed over that incident. You know, it's better that I, I made that mistake and I just lost a fraction of my funds some time ago, rather than, you know, losing your entire account and not being able to get it back like it doesn't happen to with EA and me. I already have told that story several times. For those who don't know the story, uh, basically had an origin account that had like um, all the best ne Need for Speeds that were pretty much released uh, af after the Pro Street, including the Pro Street, all Dead Space games. Um, what do I? What else? All Mass Effect games. It was all over there, like the actual nice collection of games from EA at the time when the EA was actually caring about its community and about the games that we're releasing. Uh, one day I couldn't basically gain an access to my Origin account and it basically constantly gave me a message of this email does not exist. So what I, what I did is that I wrote a ticket about, you know, Bad. reminding me, uh, about reminding me, maybe I wrote it in a different um, email, you know, just, I just wrote the ticket to, for the EA to help me about it, so they can actually give me, like, either um, a clue, what is my email address, Sweet. you know, all that good stuff. A long time have passed, a very long time, in a matter of fact, I think it, it, it passed, like, two years? Less than two years, something like that. It, it, it actually gave them. It actually took them a shit ton, a shit ton of time to answer me. I even have said that on the stream that how long it took them to, uh, to answer me. But their answer was the best. The answer was the obvious fact that even I knew. Basically, what the EA support have decided to answer me is that the email under which this account was does not exist. It basically the same thing that the menu in the lo in origin login app told me. And I said, no fucking shit! And I, at this point I just gave up. I'm not gonna ever buy any EA games. Uh, I'm only gonna buy EA game if it's gonna be available on Steam. Because EA support is horrible. You know, you're typing back to somebody after such a long time and you're not even giving them a appropriate answer of 
Hey, sorry for not answering for so long. Anything that could like give me an advice on where my account is, or maybe like I would give him a list of games or anything. Nope. They just gave me the same information, and then and then just just they got period on the letter back, and that's it. Yep. The email that you gave him does not exist. Well, the fucking menu gave me the same information. How is that helping me? Very helpful, right? Thank you for saying me the same thing that I knew for like over a couple years now. That's that that that's very nice of you. Fucking assholes. You know, the other situation when I had to send a ticket with support, it was actually a very stupid situation too. I did not thought about it initially, I just went with the with the motion. Um it was when I was playing Dark Souls 3. I was basically farming souls like crazy. And I was farming souls like crazy. And pretty much due to some kind of connectivity glitch, I'm actually gonna tell the story right now. Due to some some stupid weird uh, connectivity glitch, I have lost six million souls that I had on my character because I was mostly helping people in Ring City to kill the Medir, uh, go through the entire area, PvP stuff, you know, all that good shit. The stuff that was actually keeping me still attracted to the video game. And due to due to the glitch. Uh, I have lost all the six million souls that I had. Um, the, fu the funny thing is, the glitch was also pretty like weird, because you, I was basically, you know, with the with the team, with the group, um, and I was basically, you know, walking around. All of a sudden, I got I got a loading screen, and I got basically kind of like thrown into dark space while I was constantly dying all the freaking time. I was constantly dying. And, uh, you know, when you die twice, you lose all the souls, because the first time you die, you leave the souls at the place of your death. Sure, you could find the souls later. You could find them, because the moment you have uh, turned back into the game, the game has spawned you right in front of the souls that you have lost. But, bef but you, need needed to f you needed very quickly to manipulate yourself to the main menu so, don't you, so you don't lose those souls. That's pretty pretty much how it worked. Pressing all the four would not work. You would lose the souls. But doing anything else would not work. You had to quit the game manually and get to the main menu and then get back into the game so you can re retrieve the souls. I learned that the second time. But the first time, I have lost six million souls, and in all that emotion and all that stuff, I was just so desperate. I was so freaking. I was so disappointed that I actually wrote a ticket letter to Namco <laughs> and I asked, hey, there's this and this glitch. I actually have the screenshots, I actually have the evidence and I have the entire story of how it happened. I don't know what it is. Uh, gave an appropriate answer and they said, sorry, they cannot bring, they cannot give me those six million souls back. But I was like, yeah, okay, they're actually acting professional. I come down, I said, yeah, I, I, t I wrote them back that I said, yeah, there was probably like zero chance that I can get those souls back. So I was like, yeah, fine, cool, great. Wrote it back. Thank them very much for the support. And that, that was pretty much it. But the support was actually very professional because the guy was the guy that I was talking with was okay, was fine. It's, it's a shame. I will not deny that, it's a, it's a truly a shame, but I managed to spend like maybe another week or two just generating those souls again and I got them back and this time when I knew that's, that the glitch is gonna happen, I knew exactly what to do. But yeah, it's all good. I mean, the, the difference of the customer service with Bandai Namco and EA is just cosmical. It's absolutely cosmical. But it was a good experience, and that's what I appreciate. You know, I, I will always take a polite, no, we cannot solve your problem, over anything else. Yeah. 
Yeah, sounds like work to me. I know, right? I mean, working? Nah, I don't feel like it. I mean, it's our products. But then again, we have FIFA fanboys. They're always gonna pour money into, first of all, buying the game with the same graphics, same characters, same team, same bullshit, only worse RNG. Yeah, I, I don't think I have to move my finger. I can just, you know, ignore the the, uh, the guy that bought different games. Yeah. Definition of insanity, when you try to do the same thing over and over and over again, hoping something's gonna change. You're not that far from true. That is not very far from true. Nice. I mean, in the end, I managed to get my stuff back, so not much of an insanity left at that point. I managed to get my revenge, and I managed to do whatever I wanted. Which back then, if I'm correct, because I haven't played Dark Souls in all in a few years now. I believe I was generating soul so I can level up because I was already at NG plus 7. I know that it was starting starting to be difficult to get people to basically do the media. At this point I don't even know if the Steam is actually storing the saves because I could I could like straight up bring up the evidence that I had an NG7 character. But I don't know if I can do it right now. Playing Dark Souls Trilogy is gonna be actually a good refresher. I think. I have not played that game, those games in a long while. Would I do NG plus 7 on every single Dark Souls? Not in one run. Because, and this is actually a question that I uh, asked myself right here, right now. Um, I would not do it. For a very good reason. Uh, because first marathon, I, I will just do the marathon. If you are doing a marathon, I, you do not do the NG plus 7 stuff. It simply, not, it simply would not work well. Doing just the first uh, game as a memory refresh? Yes, 100%. But NG plus 7? No, not really. Even though it's tempting because I really like Dark Souls games. And I'm not and I'm definitely not playing them often enough. Um, but then again, I have this weird philosophy that if I find a game I truly love and I truly enjoy, I don't play it often. Because if I'm gonna play that game way too often, I'm gonna burn out on it, I'm gonna lose all the motivation to play it, it's just not gonna be the thing, you know? It's not gonna give me the same feeling as the first time I played. I know for a fact it's not gonna give me the same satisfaction, the same oomph, like on my first playthrough. Because I learned the game. At least, I believe I have learned it. So yeah, that is that. Um, Quagmire, I already have visited the Quagmire, it's not gonna spawn back. So many different places over there. I'm gonna go for it. Mm, I, yeah. gonna kill that bastard. Uh, I think we should get like a fog crawler over here unless he just evacuated or died and never spawned back. Yeah, I don't think he spawned back. That's fine. I'm gonna save the game again. 
This is why I want to cast the vault during my Fallout 3 playthrough. We are they gonna do the Heather Cast in uh, companion playthrough. Uh, it's gonna be a new game, it's very similar rules. The major change is gonna be that I'm bringing the companions. Any other rules, I'm gonna basically apply them. I'm gonna change the TXT file on my FO4 rules. And that's gonna be that. Uh, game? I would like to loop that. Thank you. But I simply want to... I, I think I'm gonna let the people decide what, what game I should play next. Because I don't think the Dark Souls series are gonna be that long. I think the longest is gonna be the Elden Ring. 100%. Elden Ring is gonna be the longest thing to do. How are you? Excuse me. I'm sure I have something you need. I'll take a look. Sure. Great. Atem in no settlement playthrough? Nah, nah, I need settlement. I definitely need the Minutemen questline so I can gain the levels. It's a part of a progression. After all, I, when I'm playing uh when I'm playing this game, it's pretty much kind of it, at least I believe, it's kind of ish, 100% ish, playthrough ish ish, if you catch my meaning. So, doing all the things, is at least attempting to do all the things, is kind of required. Oh, she, oh, she can, she can sell all of that, she can buy all of that, okay. Let me get the money then. Hi. I'm sure I've got something you need. Let's see what you have. Let me know what you'd like. If I'm... Basically, if I'm not gonna do the settlements, there's a very low chance that I'm gonna beat my level record. Which is also another goal when it comes to my settlements. Beating my maximum level record, uh, at least trying to. Also, it would bother me a lot that I have a settlement and I did nothing with it. It, it, it would fuck with my head. A lot. And I kind of don't want to do that. Okay, so that's Red Stag Meat, Rocket, Stealth Boy, because I ain't no bitch. I usual candy, Super Stimpy. There's one location before the um before the glowing sea that we I might actually go. It's a mine it's a mining shaft that I did not explode earlier. I'm gonna do it right now. Oh my god, maybe yeah, fine, go to your freaking glowing sea, you freaking nerd. Who is that? Oh it's you! Uru <laughs> Did I connect it to Uru? Oh no, I can actually connect Uru to my own settlement. I'm gonna do that in a moment. Uh, but first let me step out of the power armor. Crops are doing pretty good lately, sir. I bet they were. Okay, this, 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 definitely this. Uh, we need to remove the legendary from you. And we need to remove the legendary from you. Let's see if I have enough materials. Um, I'm gonna see if I have enough stuff to be able. No, actually, Cryo Ryan's can stay over here. I'm gonna see if I have enough materials to fix my power armor. Power armor! Okay, uh, repair. 
Yeah, that requires a lot of stuff. Yep, already lacking the materials. Yep, I need to connect... I need to connect uh, Summersville Place with the Covenant. Supply line... Covenant. Um, move? Thank you. Hey, go ahead. Um, okay, let me get... Um, you have the fusion cores, I can leave them in the box. Yeah, I think from this point on I'm only gonna I'm only gonna fix my armor if I am in uh, if only one of the parts is gonna be either red or destroyed. Because repairing this power armor took a lot of juice. Yeah, she just stood there like Psh, You ain't my dad. You ain't my dad. You cannot tell me what to do. Well, I'm gonna kill your dad, so better move your ass up. That's right. Domination th through threats. Exactly. This is gonna you ain't coming in. Mm -mm. So aggressive. Well, it's an NPC, so I am aggressive. Tax toxic streamer. Yep. 100% pure unadulterated evil. Uh, that's who I am. Um, actually, no. Not Let me take that. Work. Not a day of hard work. Shit never changes. Okay, four of those. Blood leaves. Buff that. Carrot flowers. That's a cooked meat. So it doesn't count. Yucky toxic streamer. Uncle Lander. The Acid Factory. Am I really that bad? I don't think I'm that bad. Yes, you are bad. You're, you're so bad, people are running away from you. Well then, I guess I need to change my personality. And I'm gonna be nice now. Hmm. Oh, no, wait, 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 because I hit- okay, I understand, because I have the other things. Yeah, makes sense. I mean, so it called Swineapple- what the hell is that? Swineapple. That sounds like something that, um, mixes up, like, an actual swine with apple, like, like you're trying to uh, have a little pig and it's just stuffed with the apples and then you just um, cook it in some way because it definitely sounds like that and it sounds tasty never changes war never changes all right so we are at Somersville place oh boy everything is expiring okay Julie It's time to get for that uh, mining field.